Well, here's the start of the GMC Motorhome Odyssey. Here with all my tools and stuff today. We're going to work on getting the airbags up and going over some things and seeing if it might be possible to drive this back. It does run, it does have new tires on it. So at some point, somebody will be here, we'll have some records, we can see what else has been done. And just gonna pick at it for a couple hours and see what we come up with and see if we can make it roadworthy. And yep, that's what's happening. So these airbags aired up. There's a Zerk and a valve there. So the valve is off, so I was just able to manually put air in there. There they are. They don't look super great, but uh, they did air up and appear to be holding. So that's kind of nice to get the thing off the ground to a more loadable height. I'm going to jack this thing up and see which brakes are maybe dragging. They thought it was some of the back ones. Okay. All right, so driver's side airbag is leaking. Now we've got that flat, we're on this block of wood down here. Um, there is one newer looking airbag with this rig. So when the guy comes back, I'm gonna borrow an inch and, an, probably inch and a 16th. Now we'll try to put another airbag on there. Right. Which appears to be used. Maybe it's a good used one. It looks certainly much better. So we'll do that. Meanwhile, here's the coach. This airbag here is looking good. It's still holding there. I mean, that definitely needs to be replaced, but it's, it's a really easy job to replace these things. So I'm gonna get new airbags that fitting and we're gonna go just to a valve like that and honestly probably we'll just run it manually all the time I'll keep the pump hooked up or maybe run all that new at some point but I think for the short term just having them manually up would be good there'll be a lot to do if we get the other airbag pumps up maybe we'll go for a ride so here's your here's your entrance you have all these factory cabinets and all this. That all looks good. Um, what's under here? We didn't look under here. All right, it looks like a furnace, which is just, I don't know what's up with that. Up. Here's the area in the back, which probably you can't fit two beds going long ways. We had thought about that, so it's going to have to be a bed going across. There's our water pump down in there. There's our freshwater tank. Here's the headlight bezels. Not sure what's going on with that. Now these are going to be affixed. But, um, let's see what else here. There's cabinets in there. These are all probably refastened in position. Um, there's our carpet. So we do have this step up here. And that all looks pretty easy. Even, I guess, the area around there we can deal with. Let's see what we have under here. There's nothing under there, big storage space. And another storage space, there's seat belts in there, so it looks like we can belt people into the seat. I think that's it. Okay, the new used airbag is in. It's been here about 20 minutes. It's not dropping, so it's probably good for a little test drive. We'll crank it up and see if we feel like driving it. All right, here we go. Close this up.
definitely easy to drive. It feels very comfortable. All right, we're gonna spin it around and take it back. But it's pretty good that it's running and driving. It feels good. It feels very stable. I have to get the alignment done, but again, really feels easy to drive. And the, the steering wheel, the, the wheel's not aligned, it's very tight. So that's good. It doesn't feel like it's flopping all over the road. I don't know what it's going to be like at speed, but we're not going to find out until we get it home. We're going to tow it. Although it kind of feels like, I mean, it could make it in a pinch. It feels pretty good. I don't. Brakes seem to be uh, working. Okay, they feel a little, they feel hard. All right, let's get rid of this back and put it away and see what happens next. Okay, so it's 9 a.m. and I was just talking to the trucking guy and I'll be here at 9.30, a little late, but uh, looks like our airbags held up overnight, which is good. We'll back this thing up there and then he can back his truck in and load it up. We'll see how all that goes. We're gonna have to do some painting. out of here within 40 minutes and on its way back. So now we made it back. Finney's checking out the trailer. Oh, He's nice looking in there. Weird smells, huh? Now begins the fun. <laughs> Finny poo. Look at all that mouse nesting going on in there. Oh goodness, mouse nesting. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. There's gonna be lots of stuff to do. Well, look, they left us a scrub brush right down here. <laughs> for scrubbing. We definitely so. need it. Okay. 
All right, Finny Pooh, you want to come out? Do I ever. Okay, go ahead. Actually, hold on there for one second.